We've got a poverty rate that puts one in five children well behind before they ever enter kindergarten. We've got an unwillingness to make early childhood education a national priority. And we've got a failure to act on the adage that you get what you pay for when it comes to teachers. Privatization can't fix these things. Privatizers use charters and vouchers to siphon funds away from our public schools. And then they tell us our public schools just can't get the job done. And the declining funding that results could make that narrative a reality. It's a vicious cycle that destroys teacher morale. And that's why now in Arizona, we have 2,000 classrooms without a teacher and another 2,000 without a certified teacher. We don't have any restrictions on charter growth in Arizona. In fact, they can pop up anywhere at any time. Not necessarily because they're needed, but just because someone stands to make a buck. And it almost never bodes well for the neighboring public school. And we have vouchers too. I know a single mom who is working on her doctorate degree and holding down two part-time jobs to pay the bills. She could never have afforded to send her children to private schools on vouchers. The notion that business provides better for the common good than government just is not true. I serve as a school board member, and I believe it is one of the most fundamental exercises of our right to self-governance. Believe me when I tell you that privatization is as much about limiting the power of the average citizen as it is about increasing profits. If you don't like what's happening in your public school, voice your concerns. Elect different school board members, or better yet, run for the school board yourself. When we blame government for its dysfunction, we're blaming ourselves. I wasn't impressed with privatization when I was in the military for 22 years, and I sure as heck wasn't impressed when I went to work for a contractor for the Department of Homeland Security. Businesses, whether it's defense contractors or charter management companies or ed tech enterprises, aren't responsible to the children or the troops. They're responsible, ultimately, to their shareholders.